The international community has called for calm after Israeli settlers attacked Palestinian villages in the north of the occupied West Bank, setting fire to houses and cars and leaving one man dead. A Palestinian town torched. The wrecked aftermath of a rampage by Israeli settlers. Hundreds poured in, looking for revenge, after two of their own were shot dead. Wow. O'Day shows me the charred remains of his lounge. Completely gone. He rushed back from work, trying to protect his family. The worst thing is what the kids experience, the terror and panic they felt. Afterwards, they were trembling in fear and sheltering in my lap, begging me to stay beside them. Palestinians accused the Israeli army of failing to protect them. People here are still trying to work out how to sort out all this damage. And what you get a sense of here is how long this attack lasted. Look at the number of torched cars, the burned out building here, buildings like this stretching way up this street. It was one of the worst mass settler attacks in years, setting the West Bank ablaze. A Palestinian man was shot dead and dozens injured. It began after settlers pledged to take revenge for the killing earlier of two Jewish settlers, brothers shot dead by a Palestinian gunman in the town. Today, Israel's far-right police minister toured a settlement outpost. Rights groups draw a link between the ultra-nationalists now in government and growing settler attacks. He told people not to take the law into their own hands, but called for the force of the state. The enemy must be crushed. The heads of the instigators and the heads of the terrorist organizations must be taken down by targeted eliminations. Israelis mourned the two killed in Hawara before news emerged of another shooting in the West Bank today, killing a 27-year-old US citizen. The Israeli army defended its handling of last night's violence as international calls for calm grow. But the West Bank is burning, and this feels like a moment of growing danger.